Hi Gemini, welcome to my channel Cancer Moon Oracles. My name is Rose and I'm here to bring you another weekly love read. We're going to dive on in and see what's coming through for you in love and relationship in the upcoming days and week. Do keep in mind Gemini, these readings are for entertainment purposes only. So take what you need, leave what doesn't apply. And if you should require a personal reading, all the details will be in the show more section. Uh, do keep in mind there is about a 10 working day turnaround on all personal and private readings here with me. Um, okay, so as you can see, guys, I've already laid out the cards and I'm using a spread that I used very early on when I opened my channel. Spirit wanted me to go back to this spread, so I'm really excited to bring through the messages today. Um, do keep in mind, though... Uh, Towards the end of this reading, I will draw extra cards to kind of just take a look at the overall outcome and any advice. Um, and we'll take it, we'll take an advice card as well. If you should enjoy this reading, guys, let me know by hitting the thumbs up button. And if you haven't already done so, feel free to subscribe to my channel where you will be supporting the growth of my channel. And of course, you will receive updates of when I release my readings here on the channel as well. Um, all right, so uh, in the center of the spread here, we've got the wounds card coming through. This is your energy, Gemini. This is the energy of your person um, or the person that's on your mind. If you are a single Gemini, do take note. This reading will still apply. This could be the energy of the person coming in for you. Okay. So um, if you feel like roles are reversed, guys, I'm going to leave that up to you. But simply for the purposes of this reading, I'm going to read this side as your energy and this side as your person's energy. But in the center of the reading, um, in the overall energy, we've got the wounds card. So I feel like overall wounds have been triggered here. OK, emotions are very heightened right now between you and the person that you are thinking of or you're connecting to. So I feel like emotions are really heightened and it has. It has rehashed perhaps some old wounds um, within the both of you. OK, I'm feeling like it is a painful situation um, for at least one of you, but it could also be on for both of you, all right? Now, Gemini, you're coming through as the crocodile, and the downward pointing triangle like this represents water. So I do feel like right now this is impacting or affecting your emotions. Um, the crocodile is like in a resting period, okay? So the, the crocodile is um, above the water. So I feel like you're just trying to keep on top of your emotions. The best way to keep on top of your emotions right now with the crocodile here is to maybe just sit with your emotions, okay? It probably isn't a time to express them, but rather just sit with them and see what's coming up understand what's coming up um so you're in this rest you're in this restful state where you're kind of like resting and just observing right now i don't feel like there's a whole lot of communication coming through on your end and it is because you're trying to stay on top of your emotions okay now, I don't feel like it's a good idea to suppress your emotions, but I do see you trying to stay on top of your emotions because I do see a waterfall here and it's, it's hitting quite hard, okay? So this is, it's a heightened time emotionally. Now, your person is coming through as the horse spirit. The downward pointing triangle with the line to it does speak to the element of earth, so they could be an earth sign. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, but they don't have to be. I just feel like they're trying to remain grounded in the current situation. Why? Because their emotions are also affecting and impacting on them. But I do have to say intuitively when I drew the horse card, I got that this person is traveling in their own lane. 
So take that how that resonates, okay? Because it could be that they're either going solo right now, they want to be left alone, but they are traveling in their own lane. Whatever that means for them, maybe they're just going at this at their own pace. Okay, um, I do feel here with the horse and the high priestess, because we see a crescent moon here, we see a crescent moon with the high priestess, I do feel here that your person isn't talking or they will go silent. Okay, I actually don't feel that either of you may be talking to each other. Okay, but I do feel that your person is trying to listen to their better judgment or their, their higher self. I have to say, I feel like your person is on a bit of a high horse. I do see the high priestess as someone in high regard. So because it's sitting underneath your person's energy, like I feel like they are on their high horse. You've got the Three of Cups, the Ace of Cups, and the Six of Cups, and the High Priestess. I feel like with the Three of Cups, there could be a possible reunion. Next, Sitting next to the Ace of Cups, because we have to factor in the surrounding energies, there could be a possible reunion here where you're, you and your person, there's a fresh new beginning here. For others of you, this could be a new person on the cards. Okay, maybe someone that you've known for a really long time with the Six of Cups. But I do have to say with the Three of Cups here, um, there is supportive energy around you. It could be that you need to lean on your friends right now or family right now because the Three of Cups, this is the Friends card, you know. So there are some people around you that could really support you. Um and I feel like for your person, I mean, they could be leaning on friends for support at this time as well. I feel with this Ace of Cups, this is about self-love. Okay, so maybe just taking time to heal and work on the, on the pain or on the emotions that are being felt right now. Because the Ace of Cups is a renewal energy. So it's like, how do I renew my feel-good emotions? How do I restore um, myself so my emotions come back into balance? So this is self-responsibility right here. We can see this woman, she's holding a cup in front of her heart chakra. So this is taking accountability and self-responsibility for how one feels okay for others of you this could be your person coming in saying look I, i'm i'm i've had time to think with the high priestess i've had time to reflect i've had time to go within And I see my part in this. I see how I've played, you know, how I've played my part in the unfolding of current events. And they could be coming in saying, look, let me make it up to you. We've got the Six of Cups here. I feel like you've been with this person for quite some time. For those of you who have a strong connection to this person, or a relationship, I feel like you've known each other for quite some time. I feel like you're both feeling nostalgic. You're not saying anything. Your person's not even telling you. I mean, you are you might be over here going, you know what, my person doesn't even care about me. They're not talking to me right now. They're giving me the cold shoulder. But remember, these wounds are coming up for the both of you. What your person's not telling you is that they are thinking about you with the Six of Cups, okay? They are going back and rethinking, you know, the time that you went and you spent time together at the park or when you were at the coffee and you were laughing at the coffee shop and they're just remembering the good times and maybe they are um, sort of romanticising the fact that they want to 
have that again with you and you with them. I do feel like there's love here in the Six of Cups. For those of you in a committed relationship, there is love. Um, or otherwise, it's a deep care. Okay, I'm seeing a man and a, um, a dog. So this is best friends. You know, um, and how do we treat our best friends? And there's something about friendship here. So let's take a look and see what's coming through in the overall outcome, guys. You've got Page of Pentacles, and I kind of like it. I kind of like the Page of Pentacles because this is someone coming in offering you um, an apology, a sincere apology, a genuine apology. Let me make it up to you, right? Let me make it up to you. Someone's making it up to somebody here because the Page of Pentacles um, holds others in high regard. <clears throat> Let's take a look at the advice using the Romance Angels Oracle cards. <laughs> Chemistry. Nice. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. So you both are still very much attracted to each other. Um, but I feel here, looking at the image of this card, the advice here would be to somehow create an opportunity where you can come together and you can talk to each other. Okay, and it's also, I'm seeing this man, he's got his hand around this woman's shoulder. She's fully cloaked. Okay, so I feel like maybe one of you is feeling like it's not safe to feel vulnerable right now. Um, but with the right support, if, if someone here is creating an environment where it feels supportive, then for sure, you, you both can then open up and express and talk. But this man is very much supporting this woman. Everything about his mannerisms and his actions and what he's doing in this card is supporting her. So I feel like the advice here moving forward is how can I support my person? How can I show up being supportive and understanding and hold space for them and at the same time um, support myself? So there we have it, Gemini. That's your reading here today. I hope it was insightful and helpful. Uh, let me know if you enjoyed this spread, of course, and until next time, take care.